Good morning. Today is October the 20th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to read from Luther, and our verse for today is from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 13. Until I arrive, give attention to the public reading of Scripture, to exhorting, to teaching. And then Luther writes in uh, his table talk, My advice is that people should not dispute about secret and hidden things but that they should say excuse me, but that they should stay simply by the word of god and especially the catechism for there is a good and true summary of the whole christian religion and the most important articles put together in brief for god himself gave the 10 commandments christ composed and taught the lord's prayer and the holy spirit set down the articles of the creed in the shortest and most appropriate words but it is despised as a bad, unworthy thing because the children have to say it by heart every day. The Catechism is the true Bible of laypersons. It contains the whole Christian teachings, as all Christians must know it for their eternal blessedness. The Catechism contains the best and most perfect Christian teachings. Therefore, it should be preached again and again without ceasing. And all the common preaching should be founded on it and related to it. I wish it would be preached every day and that, pre and that preachers would simply read it from the book. Well, uh, back in my day, and maybe in some of yours, we did memorize parts of the catechism. And for some, I don't know if uh, you've opened the catechism since then, but to me, it is a good thing to look at it, see how, um, especially in easy to read, you know, in the small catechism, see what these... Um, these parts of our faith that we hold true, um, what Luther says about them, what they mean, um, how they impart God's grace upon us. So maybe take some time over the next few days, next week, even if, if you go do what Luther does and says, look at it every day. Um, there are lots of opportunities to dig deep into that or even just to start. Let us pray. Good and gracious, gracious God, you have blessed us in so many ways especially with your love, which uh, created us, which saves us, which empowers us to do your work in the world. Help us as we continue to struggle with what is it that we should do each day uh, to see how you are calling us to love our neighbor, uh, whether next door or across the world. Help us as a community, as a world, um, to continue to do what we can to uh, fight through this pandemic. We thank you, thank you, thank you for the progress that's been made and ask that uh, you help people be wise uh, to uh, take care of one another, to be vaccinated. Uh, we thank you for the great people who have uh, worked on treatments and vaccines and people who are uh, taking care of folks in hospitals every day. Continue to protect them and bless those gifts that they have of healing and comfort. Help us uh, as, as we continue to see uh, where it is you're calling us to be your neighbor. Uh, help us to, be, to uh, end any conflict we can, whether it's between individuals or, or as far as, as between countries. Help us to do what we can to make sure that people can talk to one another and, and settle differences with compromise and with peace. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.